On behalf of a group of researchers, I presented data on changes in ctDNA levels after MIBG therapy in patients with relapsed or refractory neuroblastoma. Our objectives of this study were to evaluate the associations between ctDNA and baseline disease measures used in neuroblastoma. As well, we wanted to evaluate associations between ctDNA and overall response to MIBG. Our main takeaways and conclusions from this study was that ctDNA is quite detectable in a substantial proportion of patients with relapsed or refractory neuroblastoma. As well, ctDNA levels correlate with conventional measures of disease burden. Specifically, they correlate with Curie score and bone marrow, but not with resist score. At later time points, days 50 and 50 after MIBG therapy, patients can become, ctDNA levels of patients become undetectable more commonly in patients that have clinical responses compared to those that do not have response. These findings are important as MIBG is an evolving therapy that is becoming more used in not just the relapse setting, but now in the upfront treatment of high-risk neuroblastoma. And further, ctDNA is becoming a more important and well-understood biomarker for this disease.